Hey everyone, so this is the updated production room. So it is Monday and we have been doing, like over the weekend we got a lot of stuff done. So the production room, we kind of rearranged the furniture. Now the little hutch back there really, really needs an update. And I think tonight we're going to go ahead and paint it and I'm going to replace the fabric on the back of it. So this fabric's really old and I bought this on the Facebook marketplace or something like that a long time ago, but definitely needs an update. It originally was blue and then I painted it white, but my paint job wasn't really that great. I didn't know much about painting or anything, so. So I'd like to take a second to talk about today's sponsors, FlexiSpot. So several months back, FlexiSpot sent me this sit-stand desk and it has been a staple in my office. I used it at the old office and I brought it over to the new place and this is old footage of my husband putting the desk together when we first received it and from what I remember I remember all the tools being inside the box and it was really quick and easy to assemble so here's footage of me using the sit stand desk and it has just been amazing I used a lot more than I thought I would I like to stand up and package orders and sometimes when I'm typing emails I just like to stand up and type and just kind of get the legs moving so FlexiSpot is actually going to be an Amazon Prime deal of the day starting June 21st to June 22nd. You can get 20% off of your FlexiSpot sit stand desk. So check out the link in my description if you're interested. Thanks again FlexiSpot and back to the video. Hello everybody. Welcome to the production room. What do you guys think? So we have the little piece of furniture that we worked on in the video. It turned out so good. Like if I saw this in a store... I would pay several hundred dollars. Um, am I straight? Let me check the camera, make sure I'm straight. Beauty of producing things completely by yourself. 
So what's the point of my production room? So obviously I want to make just more professional like instructional videos and one of the things was I wanted Candle Biz Academy to be a lot more cohesive because some of the videos were filmed like a year ago. Some of them I redid and I filmed in the other studio and I mean I just want Candle Biz Academy to like look all cohesive. So eventually I do want to use this production room to do that and I think it'll look a lot more professional and plus there's a lot of stuff I want to update anyway. So that was one of the reasons plus um, just like sit down segments like this and the podcast. So Small Biz and Coffee is a podcast I started several months ago. It's on iTunes. It's on a lot of things. It's on iTunes, Spotify, all that stuff. But I just haven't uploaded a freaking episode and it's just been so hard and I think a lot of it is just because when I do podcasts I just want to be comfortable and like in a space that makes sense and um I just haven't had a quiet space to myself like recently to do a podcast and plus one time I did film a podcast and people actually did like the video format so I think I do want to do small biz and coffee and of course still have it on iTunes and all that stuff but also post it here on YouTube maybe and then just have some more fun interactive elements where you guys can join in. I definitely want to bring back small biz and coffee because I liked it and um, yeah I think it would be awesome and I think it has a lot of potential like it has a lot of potential. I just gotta tap into it. Uh, so yeah, uh, store updates, retail store updates. It has been crazy to say the least. Um, I'm learning a lot. So I'm learning a lot about what it takes to run a retail store. We haven't even opened yet and we probably don't, we don't plan on opening until um, like probably a month and a half from now. So we did our inspections, we got a certificate of occupancy. So whenever you are in a building, you have to pay to get inspections and stuff. Well, do you pay? Did I pay? Yes, I did pay. I paid like $100 um, for the certificate. And yeah, the building inspectors have to come, make sure you have your exit signs, your fire extinguishers, making sure the building's safe for customers and employees and stuff like that. So we got all of that done and we got our temporary certificate and the fire marshal wants to come back when we have our retail furniture so he can see the layout of the store before he offers us a permanent one. So we're pretty much good to go there. And it's just been so awesome because everyone in the town has been really helpful because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing, but they have really been walking me through the process and like talking to me about which fire extinguishers to get and where like you have to have tags on them and exit signs and it's been just really helpful. So there's been a lot of stuff to do and on Trello, I'm about to like log in right now because I made a Trello board of... Um, with Sierra, I kind of like was all over the place. Honestly, I'm like, there's so much stuff to do. I really think that we need to do everything in phases. Like, so I came up with this system. Um, I think we have four phases. Crap, I can't see my Trello board. Anyways, I can't open it right now on this computer because it's not my normal computer. But anyways, we have like four phases. So phase one was pretty much to clean everything up. And um, we had cleaners come in. And of course, I did some cleaning also. So cleaning everything up and then, you know, bringing in the furniture because you want to have a clean space before you bring in furniture. And then um, I think the next phase was to kind of start ordering stuff for the retail space. So that's what we're doing now, looking at cash registers, um, all of that stuff, which cash registers are just crazy, like you really have to look into all the different plans because sometimes some of them they cost monthly fees um, according to it's just it's just a lot like that in itself <laughs> needs its own video. Um, you have to look at the processing fees, what features come with that monthly fee. So is it time clock payroll or are you just getting like the cash register feature? Girl, it is just like I was so confused. But anyways, I think we're going to go with. Oh my gosh, what are we going to go with? I think we're going with Square. Um, and we already do payroll with Square. So I think we're going to go with the Square cash register. Point of sale system. So that and yeah. So um, the next phase after that, I believe we're doing like inventory. Just making sure inventory is in check. Stocking up on stuff. Jars, wax, um, wicks and all that good stuff. So that um, 
you know, we have all that ready to go fragrances and beds. We've organized the embeds. It looks really nice. So, and then after that, we have inventory. And then kind of like our final phase is just doing all the touch-ups, little admin stuff, making sure our website runs good, like probably revamping the website, revamping systems, mail, email lists. Um, I might end up hiring a VA again, but I have to be very like calculated about the tasks that I'm going to give to the VA. I did not know what a sta um, operating procedures was, and I just it was just a mess. So I really had to take a step back and figure out um, as a boss like how to do that. And plus, oh my gosh, that's another thing, you guys. Being a boss has been kind of like a lot too, because in order to guide the employees, you have to figure out the best plan of action. Because um, a lot of people, I mean, like, they're just waiting for you to kind of, you know, guide them and tell them what to do. So that was one thing with the virtual assistants. There wasn't really operating procedures. There wasn't um, standards, um, stuff like that. So now that I know that, I think I'm ready to hire a virtual assistant again. Um, so that's one thing I'll be thinking about. But yeah, pff, guys, are you overwhelmed yet? Like, are you overwhelmed by all of the stuff? But our very last thing that we're going to do is ramping up production. So we're going to do all of that stuff. And then when we're ready to ramp up production, that will be our last thing. Because of course, you want all the systems in place before you start just making a whole bunch of candles. We want to make sure we have like all the systems in place so that when it's time, it's go time, hopefully that we can, you know, have Amazon, have Walmart and start just like psh, 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 making candles and putting them everywhere we can, you know. So that is kind of how our whole like phase system works so right now we're in the like phase i guess three or four i don't know but we're just going to be ordering retail furniture and stuff pretty soon so that's how the retail spot is going and you guys have been like really nice and i am blown away at the amount of people who are going to come to the opening like that's a little nerve-wracking because i have not seen most of you guys in person there's a couple people that i've seen like we've ended up chatting in zooms and stuff but for the most part like when y'all come in here you're like hey i'm gonna be like whoa I'm, I'm gonna be happy but i as an awkward person i will be a little bit probably shooken up like, oh, we'll see how it goes but for the first time ever i did meet a subscriber at the candle store i was at lone star's candle supply and i was picking up my order and then the person was like, hey, I watch your videos. And I was like, ah. But it was a good interaction. I wasn't super awkward. So that was cool. And she was nice. And I think that was really fun to meet a subscriber in person. So that was like a good test run for when you guys do come into the store in person. Um, but yeah. So anyways, that's kind of what's been going on. Thanks for tuning into the studio vlog. Look out for Small Biz and Coffee to come back. And if you want to binge the other episodes, um, the podcast is down below. I'll, it's on iTunes, Spotify, and all that good stuff. And also thank you to Flexi Spot for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in the sit stand desk and you guys want more details on that, click the link down below in the description. And until next time, bye guys. I'm